So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to a game called 3.30am at Floater Cemetery. This is once again another game by Dave Microwaves Games and it kind of follows up directly after the 3am at Krusty Krab incident. Now if you guys don't know what 3am at the Krusty Krab is, let me just go ahead and brief you real quick. But before I go ahead and do that, there is no atmosphere so uh... There you go, a little bit better. Seemed like Mr. Krabs was having a late night at the Krusty Krab, counting all that money, of course. He was minding his own business, simply counting the money, when all of a sudden a knock at the door came, and it was his old friend. I think anyway, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, it's the Slasher. The Hash... The Slasher. Okay. And then we find ourselves here. I think this takes place just after we managed to escape, and now the dude's going and robbing graves. So, um, yeah. As for the rest of the story, I guess we gotta play to figure this one out, and we're gonna go ahead and start that new game. I mean, if you do enjoy this episode, I think you know what to do. All right, let's go. This dude always has, like, such a nice charm with his games, okay? I ain't skipping no cutscene. This was literally just after we escaped then. Hmm, Floater Cemetery. I heard there'd be treasure buried in some of these graves. You know, I'm in no hurry to return home. That hash slinging slasher fellow fell behind. There's no way he'll ever catch up. I think now is the perfect time to go grave robbing. Ha ha ha. Ah, okay. Wow, Mr. Krabs, you really are going a bit low right now. So you literally are on your route home after nearly being murdered, and then you decide now is a good time to rob a grave? <sighs> I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Actually, this is really morbid when you think about it, isn't it? Like, this is next level. So we've got a control list over here. Pro tip when being chased, try to create some distance. I can already see things roaming. You see that? Oh boy, there's a lot of different enemies then within the graveyard. I don't know though, man, Mr. Oh, holy crap. I'm already dead? Hold up, I'm gonna back up the light off. Um, I think I'm good. The ambience in the background though. Like, the thing about these games is they always have such an awesome charm to them, man. Okay, get off my screen. Gonna find where these people are at. Don't see them at the moment. So now, we should take our chances to get moving. First grave right here. You don't wanna rob it? No? That's surprising. Whoa. What the heck was that? I have no idea. Oh boy, he see me. Is he like chained within the graveyard? Let me see. He's coming real close. Nope. Ah. Uh, he left the graveyard. <laughs> okay, my light is off. Holy crap. Okay, I can't get away from him. Look at his face. Oh my god. Oh, why is this freaking me out so much? <laughs> we gotta go, we gotta go. It says create some distance. Uh, I mean, I'm trying. It's pretty quick. If I turn the light off though, maybe he can't see me? He's still creating that distance. Yeah, man, we should nearly be there. Come on. Okay, big spot right there. Keep moving them. What the freak? Oh. Oh. The heck are these weird... Holy crap! There is... <laughs> this game is crazy, but I love it. It's like a mad sprint dash constantly. Come on, keep going this way. So that's the entrance. There is actually something... Hello? There's like a cat in the tree right there. I mean, dude, I would have you get down, but you're probably in the safest spot right now. <sighs> I think I finally got away. Now that took a very freaking long time, okay? Oh, wait, I think that's an owl? Yeah, that's an owl, not a cat. What? The heck? <laughs> This game is freaking me out. Come on right now. Okay, hold it together. Get your focus back in the game. Let's do this. So maybe using the light is the issue. Perhaps they can see it from a further distance. So if I keep it off, we'll rely on simply the movement of those guys. See how far we can get through. Okay, graves everywhere. That dude is moving so quick around the place. Like, I gotta be so careful. But the first dig spot that I actually ended up seeing was just over here. So I'm gonna check. I thought I was seen right there. That's the thing, you gotta be so careful. Dig spot number one. Let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. Hey, come on. Go ahead and dig it. I ain't gonna move at all. Let's see, what do we find within? Wait, why does it keep doing that? Uh, okay, come on. Here you go. Objective complete. Wait, am I done? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the car and see what's going on right now. That. M oh. Oh! Okay, light back off. Look at that guy. Who is that? Is that the Flying Dutchman or something? I can't tell. I think it is. Okay, and he's seen me again. Gotta make a move around this way here. Controls do not pop on screen. Thank goodness. All right, we're good for now. Okay, it said objective complete, but I can't place it back. We have a to-do list. We've got six different things, or rather five. Dig up Smitty Werbenman Jensen's grave, Wally the Walruses, Captain Stupids, Mr. Puffs, and then plunder all three mausoleums. Oh my goodness me. Mr. Krabs! The stuff that you're doing in your free time, I've got many questions, especially at 3.30 in the freaking morning. This is so disrespectful, so maybe dying would be a nice thing for you. You know? Saying that, how can you right your wrongs if you're dead? Uh, uh, it's like cat. What's that? It's Gary! Gary, what is wrong with you? Is he gonna kill us? Hold up. I'm, uh, kind of confused. What the freak is going on? Oh! It's the freaking hash slinging slasher as well? <laughs> There's literally everything at this place. This sucks. Once the light, there's another grave right there. Come on, gotta lose him soon. 
Maybe we're good. Hold up. I can dig this whilst I'm standing still, I guess. We are good. One more time. So this will be objective number two done. Nice. That must be a mausoleum there as well. I mean, the door's like glowing a little bit. Let's go ahead and try and destroy this thing, you know? Thunder the mausoleum. The freak is wrong with us, man. Okay, why does it keep doing that? I think we're doing it. Yeah. We went ahead and did it. Yeah, I feel like a good person right now. Let's go ahead and get a vantage point here. I can see another dig spot. Hold up. Pull up the to-do list. There's only three graves that we got to get. So this one... Oh, that's the hashling slasher. Don't see him, though. Smitty Werbenman Jensen. All right, let's get... Oh, my God, he's right in front of me. Get behind this little mound here, and we should be okay. I think at least... <laughs> this is pretty good. I like the atmosphere here, man. I think it's ending. And we're good one more time. Okay, so the final grave is just over here. Get the light on. Okay, I see our surroundings. Let's keep it off for now, you know. Got to be as safe as we possibly can. Okay, you can shut up as well, Mr. Al, all right? Maybe he's like the uh, telling thing, so you know where to actually go. Okay, let's try and get this done nice and quick. Here we go. Hold that squat position, Mr. Krabs. Just get the grave dug up. And we're going to find those... Why does he keep doing this? Oh, my gosh. Woo! They are right in front of me, man. Okay, I got to get behind this mound again. Here we go. Just here. And that's how you get rid of them. Hold up a second. There's another one of the things. If we plunder this one out of the way, we've got one more left to do, and I think... I kind of know where it is. Closest to the entrance. All right, there's the second one done. One more to go after. The dig spot is right where the owl is. Let's try and get this one done this time here. Nice and successfully. Oh, I see you. Okay, go ahead and keep the light switched off. Now, maintain that squat position. Again? Are you freaking kidding me? Same strap though. Get behind the mound. Once they don't see us, we're pretty much good. Wait for it. I think we're good. So you think? Yep. And we're good once again. Now, let's go ahead and get this thing done. Are you kidding me? Listen, guys, about eighth time as a charm, okay? I'm reinventing the wheel. We can get this one spot dig up, though. One more mausoleum, I think, close to the entrance. And then we're good. And we're getting the freak out of here with all my millions. I'm gonna go in pretty much a straight line this way here to that light source. And I think the mausoleum should be close to that. Unless it's right here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, the camera's completely dipped out unless we're good because we're inside. I don't know. That should be it, though. Oh, boy. Oh, from what? From what? Oh my god, he's too close! Run! If I die right now, that would freaking suck, dude. Yeah, you freaking two-legged dingus. I mean, I've got two legs, but let's not comment. Yeah, look how slow you are. Couldn't catch me in the restaurant. Can't catch me in the cemetery either. So, if I get in the vehicle, that should be the lot, right? Wait, no? What more have I got to do? Hold up, there's another grave somewhere. I've done the uh, mausoleums. Where the freak could that final grave be? All right, in the dark again, we do this. Look for any light spots. I don't see any amongst the dark. So maybe we can try this higher spot here. Right, it's the tippy top. Okay, I've been- oh, What the heck? <laughs> that actually terrified me, man. Come on. Where is this last dig spot? Perhaps whilst I'm being chased down by him, I can try and find it or something? Okay, I'm losing him. I'm losing him. Woo! We're good one more time. That's like a crashed ship. Is that his ship? Look at this thing. That is awesome. Like, seriously, that is so cool to see in this game. Can't go up the stairs or anything like that. I can go up this, though. Don't really know why I need to, so I'm gonna get down. Break my legs in the process, but that's all right. Rest in peace, stupid. I'm with stupid. You got that one right right there, my friend, I'm afraid. And there's nothing I can do to change that right now. Guys, it's been about five minutes. I cannot find this final grave spot, like, for the life of me. I just don't know where to look. Mr. Krabs, why can't you just be happy with what you got, you know? 900k's worth of stuff, you just got around it to that seven-figure digit. That's your problem. Wait, there. I found it. If I run in a straight line and then backtrack, this is gonna be it. Should be able to lose it. There you go. Go on your freaking way, you, you, you idiot. I've been looking for this one dick spot. Rest in peace, Wally the Walrus. Right, Dutchman's coming. Whoa, if I can dip behind the grave, maybe that's enough cover. Ah, uh, no, it's definitely not. Here we go. Let's do this, Mr. Krabs. Don't do that digging crap where you just stop for some reason. Okay, should be it. All right, all seven graves have been robbed. Return to your boat and escape with the greatest of pleasure. Duck right there. Wait, 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 from where? Look, if I get caught right now, I'm freaking done, man. Woo, he's real close. Oh, that voice crack. Oh, wow, this is gonna be tight. I think I'm a little bit quicker. Just, okay, light back on. If I get in my door, let's get the freak back out of here. He still sees me, let's go. Yes! Oh, man! I thought I was gonna make that one then. Mr. Krabs rolls off with his milli, all right? Literally half an hour after just escaping. The freak was that? Irrelevant. 
We escaped. We did it. See, the thing about this little DLC add-on type thing is that I now kind of want to know what happens at 4 a.m. You know, when Mr. Krabs kind of gets home with the goods. <laughs> I'm just saying. They were going away though, guys. That was 3.30 a.m. at Floater Cemetery. A nice little addition, I guess, to the little SpongeBob games that Dave Microwave's been making for a while. The gameplay was really simple for this one, but it's all that it really needed, I guess, to get it playing. It was kind of like a nice little mini game. And because of that, I'm going to hook you guys up with the second game. So this is Wales of Freedom, a game which, again, Dave Microwave's actually made. But look in the bottom corner. I'm just saying. I actually sent Dave a few little audio files for this game because he was wanting some, and I haven't actually seen how he's used them, which is why I want to check this thing out. So let's take a look at Wells of Freedom and see exactly what's popping off. Here we go. So we're waking up. Oh, I'm waking up, I think. Yeah, that's definitely me. <laughs> wow. So we're getting in a wheelchair, I think. Okay, or oh, I am, sorry. Select your difficulty easy, removes random spawn locations. Let's go easy for this one. Look, I'm not even gonna read hard, okay? So this is like an Outlast style game. How did I get here? What is this place? This game as well, I think it has tank controls because you are based inside of a wheelchair and you can also crack your neck. Let's go ahead and move over here. This feels strange, so you can see how we move everything. You can flash your camera. That's an interesting mechanic. I guess we're gonna try and get moving with this one then. But this is apparently a very difficult to control game. And yeah, I'm feeling it already. It's locked up. Haven't I got a key in my hand? We're just gonna bust the door down? Look, I mean, I am sorry. Ooh, it's kind of spooky. So what are we exactly doing again? We're looking for some kind of item. Just move around this place. Hello? Nurse? Anyone? I think we're just calling ourselves right now, guys. So this door here, open this one. Check out, anyone in here? Nope, bed looking as barren as my soul. Open this one as well. Ooh, now there is something right there. Now that can just, come on, nice and easy does it. There you go. What is that? It's a fuse. Nice little start. Now I don't know what else lurks in these halls right now. And I kind of don't want to find out. However, it's looking like the more I patrol this place, the likelier my chances are. Okay, that looks like there might be an item over there. See if we can get ourselves a PBJ soda. A freak, a peanut butter and jelly soda. Yeah, no wonder I want out of this place. Let's go this way here. This is fun. Like, it controls different, so a storage closet. See if we can go in. There's another item down there. Is that another fuse? It's another fuse. That's two. Maybe we need like two or three then to escape, I'm guessing. Oh. What the freak is that? Oh. My goodness. Is it downstairs or something? Oh. This got a little bit creepy. I literally just got goosebumps. Interesting, Dave. You've done it. We've just gone into the cafeteria right now. I guess. No fuses around here, though. Ah, I nearly just flipped over. Let's try and go back here. Easy does it. There you go. What we got stored no, back here God, is locked. Please. Okay. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy. Is it over here? Hey, surely it can't be. What the freak? But there's nothing over here. I mean, granted, another wheelchair where someone clearly lost it. Inside the barrel. Okay, look, I'm out. I'm gonna leave nice and hastily. Let's go this way here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got a bad feeling about this. It's right in front of me. He's coming that way. Oh, come on! Oh my god, no, he's straight! I can't see! I can't see what's chasing me! Again, he's gone just like that. Whew, thank goodness, dude. This game is freaking me out. Right, what is this room here? Floor looking a little bit differently textured. Or it's like carpeted. Let's go inside. Uh. Oh! What the? I can't get away from this one. Maybe close the door? No, I'm done! I'm done! Uh. Okay, that works for me. There's a fuse here. Okay, take that one. That's three. I don't know what my objective actually is. Wait, what's this room? Like a flammable thing? <sighs> okay, keep it moving. I don't know if we're supposed to be going this way. Maybe instead. Uh, I'll go this way. Sounds the least, uh, you know, dangerous. Okay, I've seen the monster. Back up. Nice and quick. I can't see behind me either. Okay, I gotta run. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I got my neck snapped out. Well, anyway, we're gonna leave this video here. I figured I'd check out the second game just to see what it was all about. And it's a very creative and unique idea for a horror game. So we checked out 3.30 a.m. at uh, some kind of cemetery. Then we checked out Wells of Freedom to follow up. So two cool little indie games. And I hope you guys did actually enjoy watching this one as well. That was two pretty cool small little indie games. Again, made by Dave Microwaves Games. But uh, I think for this video, guys, that's gonna be everything. And again, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I've of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.